Step Into the World of Spencer's Mountain, a movie from 1963 that's more than just a film. It's a journey of emotions, with parts that'll make you laugh, gasp, and maybe even cry. But what makes it really special? Let's explore the funny, surprising, and touching moments that make this movie a classic. Have you ever been inspired or affected by this film? Share your stories below, and keep watching for more interesting facts about Spencer's Mountain. In Spencer's Mountain, we follow the story of Clay Spencer Jr. and his family living in Wyoming in the early 1960s. Clay's dad, played by Henry Fonda, is a determined man who likes to do things his own way. Maureen O'Hara plays Clay Jr.'s mom, who despite having nine kids, still looks great. Clay Jr. dreams of going to college, which would be a big deal for his family. The movie is mainly about how the family tries to gather money for Clay Jr.'s college fees. It has both funny and sad moments, especially towards the end. If you're a fan of the Waltons, you'll notice some similarities because the same person, Earl Hamner, wrote both the movie and the series. There's a scene in the movie similar to the goodnight scene in the Waltons. If you get to see the widescreen version, you'll love the beautiful shots of the mountains filmed in the Grand Teton National Park, all colorful and stunning. Some people might find the story a bit confusing because it jumps around a bit, but Henry Fonda's acting is still great to watch. If you're into family dramas with Henry Fonda, you might like on Golden Pond more. Colonel Coleman offered Clayboy $10 per week to run the library. Although it might not sound like much, back then it was like getting $100 a week. Colonel Coleman saw something special in Clayboy, his love for books, and how well he organized things. At first, Clayboy wasn't sure because the money seemed low. But then he realized it was a big chance to share his passion for reading with the community. When Wally Cox acted in the movie, it inspired the people making Underdog to pick him as the voice of their character. People loved his performance, and his voice added something special to the cartoon superhero. So they chose him because he was really good at it, and he made a lasting impression in Spencer's Mountain. In Spencer's Mountain, Donald Crisp's role was his last appearance in movies. He'd been acting for a long time and was really good at it. His part in the movie added a lot of depth and seriousness to the story. Even though he's not around anymore, people still remember him for the great characters he played in movies. Spencer's Mountain is a movie from the early 60s, known for its relatively short shot lengths, averaging around 6-8 seconds per shot. Veronica Cartwright, who played Becky Spencer, had a sister named Angela who appeared in The Sound of Music two years later. Angela portrayed Brigida, while Kim Carrath, another actress from Spencer's Mountain, played Patty Cake Spencer. Donald Crisp, who portrayed Grandpa Spencer, concluded his illustrious film career with this movie. Crisp had an extensive career spanning over several decades, with notable contributions as both an actor and director in the early days of cinema. He passed away in 1974 at the age of 91. Spencer's Mountain is a 1963 film notable for several reasons. Barbara McNair, making her film debut, appears briefly as the graduation singer, despite the predominantly white community depicted in the movie. This choice, possibly aimed at boosting her screen career, doesn't integrate her character into the plot or dialogue. Interestingly, five of the Spencer children in the film were real-life siblings. Additionally, the exterior of the university administration building scenes was shot at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. These elements contribute to the unique texture of the film, showcasing both familial connections and strategic location choices within its narrative. Spencer's Mountain features Maureen O'Hara and Donald Crisp, who previously appeared together in How Green Was My Valley in 1941. Directed by Delmer Daves, the film also marks the only movie appearance of Michelle Daves, Delmer's granddaughter, portraying the youngest Spencer child. James MacArthur, born in 1937, played a character who graduates high school at 26. That's the gist of the 1963 movie Spencer's Mountain. The Walton's TV show drew striking parallels with Spencer's Mountain, a film from 1963. Both narratives feature an eldest son named Clayboy or John Boy, characterized as a scholarly figure. The expansive family resides on a mountain named after them, echoing the familial setting. Common elements include an alcoholic concoction brewed by elderly sisters following their father's recipes and family members exchanging goodnight wishes reminiscent of the cow chants and Grandpa Zebulon. During the movie's production, Jackson Hole, Wyoming locals served as extras, contributing authenticity to scenes like Clayboy's graduation. 
Henry Fonda, in a DVD interview, shared this insight into the films behind the scenes, shedding light on the community's involvement. Adding a personal touch, Maureen O'Hara's real-life daughter, Bronwyn Fitzsimmons, played the role of the college dean's secretary. This familial connection adds a layer of authenticity to the cast. In summary, Spencer's Mountain shares thematic similarities with the Waltons, drawing on familial bonds, mountain life, and the challenges faced by the eldest son. The use of local extras and the involvement of O'Hara's daughter contribute intriguing dimensions to the film. Spencer's Mountain, released in 1963, featured a young Patricia Cake Spencer, portrayed by a talented actress. This character was the younger sister of Becky Spencer, played by Veronica Cartwright. The film depicted a large family dynamic, with Patty Cake being one of nine siblings. Interestingly, the actress had a similar role in another movie, The Sound of Music, released in 1965, where she played Gretel Von Trapp, the younger sister of Bridget Von Trapp, portrayed by Angela Cartwright. Both films showcase the complexities and joys of belonging to a large family. While Spencer's Mountain is often categorized as an American fantasy, it also presents a reflection on time and reality. For instance, the movie's release year, 1963, prompts viewers to consider the future of Clayboy, the protagonist who could have graduated college by the spring of 67 and potentially been drafted to Vietnam. This subtle reflection adds depth to the narrative, blurring the lines between fantasy and reality. In summary, Spencer's Mountain, though released in 1963, continues to resonate with audiences due to its portrayal of familial relationships and its subtle contemplation of the passage of time and the realities of life. It's a film that leaves a lasting impression, showcasing the complexities of family dynamics and inviting viewers to ponder the intersections of fantasy and reality within the narrative. In 1963, a movie called Spencer's Mountain hit theaters, telling a heartwarming story to audiences. Despite its wholesome image, a sad event happened during its making one of the child actors, Clay O'Brien, who played a small role, experienced a tragic loss. His father died in a car accident not long after filming. The movie is about a tight-knit family living in the countryside. Henry Fonda plays Clay Spencer, a father figure. It shows their ups and downs set against the beautiful Wyoming landscape. Directed by Delmer Daves, the film explores themes like love, determination, and family unity. Fonda's performance as Clay Spencer and Maureen O'Hara's portrayal of Olivia, his wife, add depth to the story. Despite its sad parts, the movie leaves viewers feeling hopeful. It reminds us of the strength of love and family during tough times. In conclusion, Spencer's Mountain is a touching depiction of family life in rural America. Its sad backstory adds depth to the story, resonating with audiences for years.